So if you could start off by telling me um, what, I mean, if the project was meaningful to you or not, and then why or why not. Sure. Um, the project was pretty meaningful to me. Uh, I wrote in my paper afterward, I grew up on, well, grew up, spent like five years of my childhood um, on a it was out in the country. Of, uh, it was a little town called Liberty, Illinois. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like a ho hobby farm. Um, so I got to be around the farming community. We lived right across the street from a horse ranch. You know, there was a bunch of cornfields all around. Uh, and then I went to a little high school where, where everybody was going to grow up and inherit their, their parents' farm. So I got to uh, be around that type of community and see w how important that was to, uh, to, to, to the community and its, its growth. And um, that was kind of my inspiration for the Metzger, the Metzger project. I wanted to really show people how important this was to the community. And then also, you know, meeting Mr. Metzger himself and seeing how uh, enthusiastic he was about all of his old equipment and just the farm's history was really inspirational. And I, 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 liked, I liked everything about that and wanted to really project that. So could you talk a little bit more about a lot of the um, students said that they had this like really personal connection, as you just mentioned, to Mr. Metzger. So could you talk a little bit more about what it was like, um, like physically being at his farm for you mm -hmm. and how you think that affected the way that you created your video? Well, it, like I said, you know, it brought me back. It brought me back to, you know, good old Liberty days. Uh, that, that farm was honestly the most fun uh, place ever. And just being on, being on Mr. Metzger's farm really brought back all the bonfires and the, the fishing and the running around in the woods. Uh, just seeing all that brought all the, those memories back to me and and I could tell you know it's like these are memories that I have over the course of my 21 year old life he's you know in his 80s 70s 80s, 80s yeah. now yeah uh and so I can just I just imagine the things that I was feeling times you know 100 for him because it's like it's like he this was his life this was this was this was everything that he had worked for you know he talked about how he bought a tractor uh with his dad when he was just a teenager. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't save uh, like a hundred bucks for you know a pair of shoes I wanted when I was a teenager. But this is how much he cared about uh, that farm, uh, and, I, and it was just evident. It was very evident in how he talked to us and how proud he was of everything. So. And then how did that translate into you know for you? I guess a, a first question would be, um, what was your knowledge of like video editing? You know, prior to coming into this project, and then. How did that relationship with Mr. Metzger kind of influence or not influence yeah. what you were doing? My experience with video edit editing was actually just creating my own uh, high school highlight tape for football. Uh, we send out, as a, as, a, as a recruit in high school, you send out your tape to uh, all the colleges that you're interested in, you know, even the ones that you aren't. Just, you want to get your tape out there. Um, so I edited and put together that whole thing with, uh, myself through a website. It was called Huddle uh, that the mm -hmm. team used. Um, and I really liked that. I liked, you know, picking out the music for, for my clips. I liked picking out which clips I wanted to put where uh, and trying to get the music to maybe sync up with like what was happening on the field. I really enjoyed the whole, the whole process. And so uh, I just kind of did more of the same with, me, me, Mr., with, the, with the Metzger uh, project. I um, picked out music that I thought would be, you know, uh, th that would go with uh, the feel that I was going for, which was nostalgia. Uh, so, I mean, You'll you'll hear in the you'll hear in the video that um, it's just it, it just I think nostalgia was really what I was going for like that was my overall you know goal for this so I put together clips of you know like far shots of like flowing grass and stuff like that that would just maybe take people to a different place and then um, just tied that all in with how much Mr. Metzger uh, really just cared uh, it was it was all it was all tied together. Yeah, so I love what you're saying about, um, can you, I guess could you talk to you a little bit more about how your, I don't know if you, if you can, um, about how you, you talked about your feelings on the farm when you went there, like that nostalgia that you felt, can you talk to me just maybe about why or how you decided that was the way to go with this video? Um, I think that everybody, you know, no matter who you are, you have at least a couple good memories and it's always fun to revisit those. Um, I know the big reason that I love listening to music is all the times that it takes me back to. Uh, that is one of the, my favorite things. Uh, <laughs> there's actually, the, the, it's a reoccurring theme in South Park. They're called member berries. Um, they make you member when times are better. Uh, and so 
I think that that's just something that everybody can relate to is wanting to go back to a place that was, you know, either better or just, just a nice place. And so I really pulled on my desire to, you know, live in those memories and just, you know, re think about those times. I, I just put all of that into the feel for the, for the video. How did that, okay, so you've had this emotion, this strong feeling of nostalgia. How did that translate when you were sitting down to like edit your video? I mean, because you said you had a little bit of editing experience, but mm -hmm. working in Premiere, which is, you know, a professional video editing mm -hmm. platform, um, what was that like for you? Your process there? Uh, well, at first it was confusing. It was confusing. It was quite a step up from Huddle. You know, it was kind of confusing to figure out how to get all the files that I wanted from my computer over to this video making or editing editing tool. Um, and so, like, once I got that figured out, it was really just, you know, let the creative process go. I, I think I spent, like, maybe three hours one night in the computer lab just, you know, playing and replaying and editing and redoing everything until I got it to where you know, it felt like this was going to evoke some kind of positive emotion towards, towards the project. Um, and all of that was made just tremendously easy by, by the tools that we, that, we were, that we were given for the project. So. so could you talk a little bit, so your video was one that we chose to show when Mr. Metzger was here. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, how you felt having him there watching your video? Pride. I definitely felt pride. Um, this was something you know. I was like, that was a pretty, that was a pretty talented class we had. There was a lot of creative minds in that class, and so I, I went in. You know, it's like, not necessarily thinking I wasn't gonna get picked for the project or to, to, to have my video viewed. But you know, it's like I went in thinking, oh well, surely there's gonna be some Tammy Tryhard who comes in with like, like uh, you know, uh, Rotten Tomatoes worthy video. It's like somebody's gonna get like just great reviews on this. Um, and that's not to say that people didn't come in with good videos, but the fact that you uh, you chose mine uh, in the crowd that I was in really just, you know, gratitude, pride, um, all that. And then to have Mr. Mesker thank me uh, for, for you know, putting, putting that together afterward just was amazing. You know, it's like I really enjoyed having somebody look at my work, you know, and it's like something that I did with my, you know, hands. Um, and to tell me that it, it, it positively affected them. That was, it was really cool.